The Checkpoint is presented by GM Pharma, the first international multinational pharmaceutical company in Georgia. GM Pharma, to serve those who need it most. Time for some local news as well. The Ministry of Finance is working to abolish tax breaks for businesses. Lasha Kutsishvili, the Minister of Finance, said that his agency, with the involvement of USAID and IMF experts, was working to assess the effectiveness of each tax break, after which a decision would be made to cancel specific benefits. I share the view that tax breaks should be as specific as possible and as targeted as possible. All persons must must not enjoy tax breaks if they donate them. So Lasha Kutsishvili work on the assessment of tax breaks began during the previous Minister of Finance and has been continued for several months. The chairman of the Budget and Finance Committee of Georgian Parliament, Iraklikov Zanadze, calls on the Ministry of Finance to further reduce the budget deficit. Reducing the budget deficit to 4% or less will be a real help to the National Bank of Georgia in reducing inflation and an important step towards macroeconomic stability, stated Kovzanadze. According to Iraklikov Kovzanadze, the steps taken by the government, in particular the Ministry of Finance, to reduce the budget deficit are appealing. However, he called on the government to direct all available reserves or whatever appears in 2022 to further reducing the deficit. Continuation of the Namakwani plant project as well as ANCA's withdrawal with their own terms are considered equally, said the Minister of Economy, Natia Turnava. She declares that the main goal of the Georgian government is to reach an agreement with the investor company ANCA Renewables. Two weeks ago, representatives of the Georgian side and ANCA held two meetings in Europe. In September, ANCA Renewables made the decision to terminate the contract with the Georgian government. It became known for from the announcement published by the parent company of Anka Renewables on the Istanbul Stock Exchange. In October, electricity consumption increased in Georgia. According to the electricity market operator, this figure exceeded 148, 148 million um, kilowatt hours uh, last month, which is around 23% more than in the same period last year. As for the occupied Abkhazia region, electricity consumption increased by around 15%. According to ESCO, local generation facilities generated 100 92 billion kilowatt hour of electricity, which is 40% more than in October last year. The Checkpoint is presented by GM Pharma, the first international multinational pharmaceutical company in Georgia. GM Pharma, to serve those who need it most.